All right, welcome back TV 5 News at 9. Holiday shopping season is now here and inflation is the Grinch this year. But to help us keep our Christmas cheer and make the most out of the season is financial therapist Dr. Erica Rasher. Thank you so much for being here. How are you this morning? I am wonderful. Happy November. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for calling in. I'm really excited to learn more in this segment because today we're talking about stretching out our cash and reducing stress surrounding the holidays. So first, what is financial stress and how can we manage it more effectively? Yeah, financial stress is really best described as anything that gives you an icky feeling that causes a sense of overwhelm and just a general feeling of discomfort. Uh, one of the things we can do to manage that stress is to regularly check in with ourselves, especially around the holiday season uh, when things are a little bit more frenetic um, and expensive this year. Yeah, that's for sure. Okay, <laughs> so results from a holiday spending survey are giving us some insight on how shoppers are feeling this season. So what are we learning from those results? You know, it's in, it's incredible. 87% of shoppers or consumers really, uh, as reported by the American Psychological Association in their 2022 stress survey, 87% are reporting that they are stressed out because of inflation. Mm. So it's it's a significant amount. Um, and 56%, I believe, um, are uh, stressed out just in general over money and the economy, which is up. Uh, significantly since 2015, the highest it's been since 2015. Good Lord. Okay, so so I know. <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're it's, it's a reality. We have to get used to it. Yeah. So that's why we have you here. So just tell us about the importance of setting our holiday spending limits and what should people do if they find themselves going over budget. Yeah, so the best thing you can do for yourself to reduce your stress ahead of time is to plan for your purchases. You know, it's it's not necessarily a novel idea, but we do need to be intentional about it. And one of the things we can do in terms of being intentional is have conversations with our friends and family about our gift giving strategies as a way to stay within our budget and our means uh, so we're not putting everything on plastic. And you know what? And you're not doing everything also at the last minute. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> which is usually how I do it. But uh, how yeah. can a financial therapist help people manage our expenses this year? Right, so, you know, financial therapists, you know, we're people who deal with the emotional side of money. And so we encourage people to check in with their feelings. We want you to feel your feelings around money. So if you're going into a store, and like I mentioned that feeling of ick before, mm -hmm. if you're not feeling joyous and happy and you're feeling grinchy, that is a, an indicator that something is off, something is out of alignment. And it's really important to check in with yourself and figure out why that is. Very good. And I guess lastly, Erica, is where people can go to get extra help. Um, you know, in particular, this holiday season, again, people are stressed out. Um, the dollar does not go as far as, far as it does. One of the best resources I, I recommend is the United Way. Very good. Okay, Erica, anything else that you would like to share with our viewers on, on financial stress? Take it easy on yourself, you know, give yourself a little bit of grace, a little bit of compassion, do something differently. If, if you can do something differently with your money that makes you feel less stress, even if that means, you know, bucking family tradition a little bit, do it. Do it for yourself, do it for the dollar. Yeah, absolutely, and yeah. those are great tips. Thank you so much for calling in this Thank morning. Thank you, absolutely. have a good day. You as well. Thank you. And for more information, just go to the hot links section of WNEM.com.